Dear learners, in this session, we are going to simulate IoT protocols such as Six Low Pan and Co op using Quantigy OS and Kuja Simulator as a part of IoT Virtual Lab using open source tools. So, before we start with, uh, uh, we are in the question why it's all about um, Quantigy and Kuja Simulator. Uh, since IoT as a basic fundamental basic blocks of building blocks it contains the wireless sensors and activators so all it has been connected with the protocols so we are going to explore ourselves how to integrate those protocols and how to visualize those protocols using this Quantiki and Kuja simulator Quantiki is an open source operating system it's actually basically designed for a wireless network now it has been uh, widely used for internet of things as well uh, so it runs with embedded uh, network embedded systems and the wireless sensor network nodes. Uh, basically, it is designed for microcontrollers uh, which consumes small amount of memory. Uh, this typical uh, Wantiki configuration, it requires only 2 kilobytes of RAM and 40 kilobytes of ROM. Uh, this Quantiki operating system provides an IP communications for both IPv4 and IPv6. Uh, so, it also supports your 6 low pan header compression and co op application layer protocol. To start with IoT protocol 6 low pan and co op, we'll see a basic idea of the 6 low pan and uh, co op. So, 6 low pan is IPv6 over low power wireless personal area network, and this protocol is mainly designed for small devices which consumes low power with limited processing capability uh, which is the prime uh, requirement of internet of things uh, this six low pan works with uh, a defined encapsulation and data compression mechanisms that follows ieee 802.15.4 based network the major advantages of six low pan it uses ip standard including tcp udp http co-op and web sockets uh, it follows an excellent mesh routing uh, it, this characteristics makes this technology ideal for the time current market. Co-op is constrained application protocol. Uh, this is also designed for Internet of Things, uh, which works under constrained nodes and constrained network. Uh, so this also supports uh, a lightweight protocol. So Co-op was again targeted for low power sensors and activators to communicate via the internet. Uh, so it runs the devices that support UDP and it implemented in a lightweight application layer. So this co-op looks and works similar to HTTP client server model. So even in while typing the address, I will typing it in the address bar as we type it with HTTP colon, we have to type with co-op colon followed by the address. So the IoT protocol 6 low pan and co-op in Quantiki Kuja simulator. To start with the installation, first install Quantiki OS and then we have to install this VMware. Uh, so uh, this installation takes a little bit time uh, because Quantiki uh, requires 2 GB of uh, data. So uh, it takes a little bit time. So to download Quantiki OS, you can Google it in the Quantiki OS SourceForge. So in the SourceForge, we have an instance Quantiki. You, you click it and let it start downloading it. Uh, meanwhile, you can open your uh, VMware uh, downloads. There you can download this VMware installer. You can download this VMware installer. So for instance Quantiki, you go to the uh, serve to the SourceForge download latest version of Quantiki. So once you click this, this uh, you will get a. Uh, it will be moved to the next um, stage. This so you could see your download will start shortly. So it gets downloaded. So meantime, we'll start downloading the VMware as well. If you're having all, if your system has. A, um, VMware already you can use that else uh, you can download it so you just go to the VMware downloads so there you can see a go to download option 
once you click it you can see two flavors comes for windows uh, 64 bit operating system as well as um, for linux system so whatever system you require you just uh, click it since my system is 60, windows 64 bit operating system i'll be downloading this uh, windows 64 bit operating system so after downloading you just double click the installer uh, so the installation process will progress so you will get a uh, setup wizard you just give next and then uh, you will get a license agreement uh, window you just click the accept the terms and conditions and then you just give the next uh, next is a custom setup here uh, you no need to enable this uh, so this is uh, for enhanced keyboard driver so we, we we may not require the functionality right now so no need to en enable it so just give next uh, then uh, if you want to check for the product updates you can check this and then uh, you can make this also to improve some performance uh, improvement you can click both this and you can give next uh, then if you want to visualize your workstation in the desktop and in the start menu then you can activate these two box check boxes then you just click next uh, now your, we have reached the last stage that is now you just click install to start the installation so the installation will start it, it just takes extra time uh, to show its progress so don't do anything just please wait so it will uh, start its process uh, so once it reaches to the end again um, to updating for the updating component registration it starts from the beginning so don't get panic it, it, it will resume its uh, uh, installation process uh, then uh, the status bar will come like this so it will complete its process so once the installation is over you will get a window like a finish so you just click a finish to complete this process once this is over as i activated the desktop visualization so your vmware will be visualized here so you can double click this vm where now so once you click it uh, since we are using only for non-commercial use like education you can click this uh, first option then just click continue uh, then uh, you just uh, immediately this finish window will be popped up you just click finish so once you give it you will get a uh, vm workstation is available for you so this is a VM workstation. Now you unzip the instant Contigi downloaded. It's a 2 GB uh, file. So you just unzip it. You can put it in a folder. Then open the folder. In that folder there is a file called .vmx file. So you just double click that .vmx file. So automatically it's your uh, VMware file, virtual machine file. Uh, so you, you double click this. So if you are getting an uh, error like this, then you have to wait. If you are not getting the error, then you can proceed. So whoever is getting an error like this, it shows that uh, our being Intel is not supporting this virtual um, virtualization technology, so which has been disabled by default in the BIOS mode. So we have to activate this one. So in order to activate it, to enable your in Intel virtualization in the BIOS mode, you have to restart your system. So you reboot your system while turning on or while restarting your system. You just press F F2 function key during boot up. So your BIOS uh, screen will be opened. So during that time, you just check whether uh, uh, in advanced tab tab is there. So uh, based on the processor configuration. Some system will have advanced tab and some system will have CPU configuration tab. So in either places you have to locate where is all this locate Intel virtualization technology option. You have to locate this Intel virtualization technology. So once your Intel virtualization technology has been located, you just select that. Uh, then you can uh, press your up or the down arrow keys. To make this uh, enabled uh, activation then you just press enter after that you just go to the exit tab and by pressing the right or left arrow keys appropriately uh, in this you have an option like save and exit setup you just uh, save and uh, select the save and exit setup 
uh, make sure you are saving your current uh, enabling of Intel virtualization technology and then you just give enter the system now will automatically restart so I'll just repeat you just restart the system and then you just press F2 function key it enters into the BIOS mode of the system so there you have to locate your Intel virtualization technology either it will be available in that it will be available in the advanced tab or it will be available in the CPU configuration now enable this uh, VT uh, by pressing the appropriate arrow keys then press enter once this has been set you have to exit it while exiting it you make sure you save and exit the setup uh, so once you click exit the system will again uh, restart so now our virtualization technology has been enabled so once it is enabled and now if you click this uh, VM file it will start it will start functioning as usual so you will get a back black screen like this so it takes uh, a little bit time for getting uh, uh, activated in this VMware so after a few minutes for me it took about uh, three minutes so after this you will get this um, Ubuntu screen so here uh, you can use your username and password as user so keep in mind uh, so only these username and password UBSER this username and password only will be using it for all its configuration so here you can give the password as USER so once you click the password you will get a blue screen like this and you will get a um, upgrade later version so you can uh, I can you can check so uh, I'll, I'll just check go with ask me later so you will find an application place here in this application place you could see Kuja simulator so you just double click this Kuja simulator you will get a installation and compilation of this Kuja simulator after that you will get a um, the quantity network simulator it's Kuja. the simulation screen will look like this so the major component it contains of the file simulation modes tools settings and help so to start with uh, just go to file and simulation uh, so in the, in the file you just click new simulation so you, or else you can press ctrl plus n so once you click uh, file new simulation you will get a, a create new simulation window so in this window you can give the simulation name as so i given as iot demo here and then you just click uh, create uh, so here the, the three various options four various uh, options are available uh, like unit disk um, graph medium this is distance loss or it can be a constant loss and it is a director graph uh, radio medium no traffic uh, no radio traffic medium and it uh, ray tracer medium so out of this uh, we'll go with the default uh, distance loss option so just click uh, distance uh, uh, distance loss option then click create uh, so you will get a, a window like this so this is your network window and we have a simulation window and this window is a mode win output window and we have a timeline window so all your timeline output will be visualized here uh, all the mode output will be displayed here and the simulations can be controlled using start pause step and the reload options so this is the important screen we will call in them as a network window so now you just go to modes in the modes you just click add modes in the add modes you just uh, select create new mode type and then you just select the sky mode so various modes are available uh, so sky mode is a predominantly and most popular mode uh, modes are nothing but the remote modes uh, so uh, this uh, 6 low pan and co-op is more widely supported by the sky mode uh, whereas uh, mica, z, mica z mode and uh, this modes are not supporting this uh, co-op and uh, uh, low, low weapon six low weapon so that's what uh, we are just going to use a uh, most familiar and uh, frequently used and widely used mode called sky mode so after clicking it you will get a, a window like this so here if you want to give the description for your sky mode you can give this in the description and just click browse so after clicking browse you have to select the 
a progress file. So now first let us display a hello world content in the node in the remote. After selecting the appropriate file, uh, we need to clean and we need to compile it and we are going to create the mode here. So first click clean uh, to clear some garbage collections, you just clean it then compile it. Uh, after compilations, um, you could see um, object file is created now. So dot uh, sky mode main dot o. Now your hello world dot c has been converted into the corresponding object file in the sky mode. Now you just click create. So for creating nodes, we have to create. Uh, we have to click create. So while after clicking create, you will have a window like this. This is an add more sky. Um, addition of your mode sky could happen here. So based on the number of modes you required. So currently I'm going to take one mode. So I'm just giving it one and then click add mode. So after that, uh, a, a small survey of mode will be added here. So here now you can change its property by clicking the view option here. So by clicking the view option, you can have any varieties. If you want to see the mode ID, IP address, LED, radio traffic, so all the options, whichever you like to visualize your uh, node to be presented in the network window, you can select these options. So now. I'm going to select uh, these options for my uh, selected mode. So the LEDs, the radio traffic, and the grid, the grid like this. So all these parameters I required for my mode has been selected here. After selecting it, you could see your output visualized as a hello world here. So this is my output. So to start to visualize it, you need to uh, click the start button here to so once you start, click the start uh, you could see the messages has been populated here so in the simulation control there is a start option you have to click this start so the output will be visualized now if you would like to change the uh, output content so instead of hello world if i would like to uh, modify something like welcome to iot world something like that you can go to the application uh, window in there you just click this application frame so you go to your files so in the files you just locate your folder so locate your hello world folder and also locate your hello world.c uh, then uh, you can change the content so the display content can be changed as per your requirement so i'm going to change it as a uh, iot welcome to iot world so your print of statement content here you will be changing it here now uh, after that, you just click this reload options. Now, instead of uh, uh, hello world, your out, whatever uh, current value configured welcome to IoT world will be displayed here. You just need to reload it, so your output will be uh, displayed here. So this is just to visualize your uh, print of statement. So now let us uh, explore about this uh, low pan, assist low pan, and Kubaka. So to have it. Again, go to your modes, create mode option. The create mode option is select your um, folder as IPv6 folder. In the IPv6 folder, uh, you just select RPL router hyphen border hyphen router. So here you have to select this <coughs> folder. After selecting this RPL hyphen border hyphen router, so I'll repeat, you have to select IPv6 of this and then you need to select this IRPL uh, border hyphen router so there you have to select border hyphen router.c program so then you just click open so already uh, all the pre requirement uh, content is written here so we are going to use that now as I said earlier whatever um, file you are selecting it we need to clean and compile it so you just clean and compile it so you'll get a, a compilation screen like this. After this, we need to create it. So just remember 3C, clean, compile, and create. So it will show some warnings in the red color. The warnings can be ignored. Uh, so once you click create, uh, it will uh, open this window. So add mode window will be open. So now here I'm going to uh, change, yeah, I'm going to create a, a server here. So one node I created and uh, that node is going to be a server node. I'll just show you it in the demonstration as well. 
now you just select um, as usual you just go and uh, create a, a next um, mode by selecting this rest example so just select your uh, browse it and select your rest example after that just uh, select this example hyphen server dot c then click open so then as usual clean compile it and create here so here i'm going to create six nodes for the compilation so here the number of uh, nodes will be six here so here the number of nodes is six here get selected then click add nodes so now you just right click your server node so in the server node uh, there is an option like uh, mode tools for sky mode you have to select that option right click your server mode and select this mode tools uh, tools for sky mode so there you need to select uh, server socket serial socket server this option you need to select it okay so then uh, if you are um, if you are not properly right clicking it you will get a window like this so don't get pan panic uh, so you just locate your cursor um, near or nearer or in in center of this uh, server node and right click it then you will get a screen of all mode tools else you will get a, a screen like this a small pop up will be like this so you can ignore it and you can relocate your cursor and you can uh, right click it again so now you just open your a uh, terminal go and open a new terminal so in the new terminal you have to type these commands uh, cd space double dot slash double dot slash example slash ibp ibp6 slash rpl hyphen border hyphen router so uh, this is the path we are going to uh, simulate now so uh, rpl hyphen border router so we are going to change the path to there and there we are going to run this uh, make so use the make command make small letter m a k e make connect hyphen router hyphen puja it will ask you the password so just type user so once you type the password uh, so you could see your configuration is running properly so your um, uh, connection happens so in this side so now you have a server ipv6 address so you just right click it and you just copy this address so this address you just right click it and copy it uh, then uh, open a one more new terminal and there you just uh, type a ping c ping 6 and then paste it your uh, the server ip which you copied in the earlier screen so right click it and just click paste so that ip address will be pasted here so now you could see the pinging is successful so this ensures that uh, connection has been established and uh, data has been communicated properly so now in order to visualize your output if you go to the um, puja simulator you just click the tools in the tools there is an option like uh, radio message you click this radio message option so there you have to select this six local analyzer with pcap so in order to visualize the output you just go to the application page and just browse for the mozilla uh, so internet you just select your uh, mozilla um, browser there you have to type your ip address which is your server address here so while typing it you have to put it in the uh, square bracket so make sure you have to put it in the square bracket opening square bracket and closing square bracket should be there so uh, these are the <clears throat> details has to be displayed here the neighbors of my server and the routes of has to be displayed since uh, no nodes i kept it near to my server so it's showing uh, empty so now i restructured it and now uh, my number uh, 27 mode number 27 and 5 has been kept nearer to my server so now it, it has been changed like this so it it routes to from 2 it is routing some data and from 7 also it is routing some data so it shows the neighbors and the routers so again i repositioned the modes and deployed it and visualized it so this is my neighbors and these are the 
routes like that you can change it and visualize your modes repositioning and visualize the output so to check with the co-op uh, actually co-op has to be enabled with the add-on so go to the tools option and then click the add-on option so in that add-on option you just uh, check whether this uh, proper CU co-op protocol is uh, already installed as a, a plugin in your uh, Firefox Mozilla. Uh, for uh, Firefox Quantum, this is not uh, supportable. So if you are having Firefox Quantum, you can download the world version, yellow version, and you can check and install this Copper CU. So here already I have this Copper CU in my system. Uh, so here after uh, there you need to type your uh, IP address. So instead of HTTP, you have to type co-op. So co-op and HTTP is working in the same um, same way. So instead of HTTP, you have to type coap co-op colon double slash and you just keep your uh, server IP address in square bracket. So now once you click enter, you will get a screen like this. So here you need to click discover. So after clicking discover, you will get a the nodes details associated with it like activator sensors and inside the sensors you have like so these are the uh, pre-written uh, pre code was available in the in the folders which we selected and file names which is selected earlier so in the discovering you could see the list of components so now you can see these are the uh, you can uh, toggle to your um, mode for Kuja Simulator and to check whether uh, simulation happens here by clicking this uh, start simulation option. Now you could see how this uh, get and post method is going to work here. So you just select this light option. Uh, so here the light is going to be photosynthetic and solar light. So the data is going to be sent in a JSON format. So now uh, I just click the incoming option since uh, I'm going to um, get the data from Kuja Simulator to this and this co-op. So you just click get option, then you just click the incoming options. It could see this output could be taken it from there and it has been displayed here. So now if you want to check for the post option, uh, this is the LEDs, different LEDs uh, available here, green, red and blue LEDs are available. Now you can uh, just go, come here again into the co-op uh, website in the Mozilla. Uh, you just uh, click your uh, toggle, actuators toggle, then you just click the outgoing, uh, outgoing tab. So there you can type the value, so I am going to send a zero value. Now I am going to select post option, so zero value and then I am going to select the post option. So once I select the post option, you can see now, since I am passing zero, this red LED will be blinked at the high value. So this ensures it has been uh, sent across from the co-op to this. So if you want to see the hello output, you can click this hello option here, you could see hello output displayed here that's all so we reached uh, the end of the learning so recap new simulations we created and we added modes and then uh, we clear second for three options like clean compile and create then we started the simulation then we gone for the six low pan and the power and finally we just tested with this post and the get method so let us see the simulation now. So double click your VM there, workstation, play on. Once you double click it, I'll get a VMware player. So you just double click your instant quantity, you will get a option like this. So VMware get installed, then you will get a Ubuntu screen, you just send this again, remind me later. Then Ubuntu window will be pushed up now so here we need to give the username and the password here so password you just give as a user to s e r small letter then give enter then you get a blue screen followed by you could see the 
option so here you just click this Fuja simulator double click it so building and the compiling of Fuja simulator will happen once it is done you will get this Quantiki network simulator Fuja simulator so it has options like file simulation modes tool settings and help just click file new so here you can give any new so let me give IOT demo and as I said that we have distance law and constant loss I'm going to keep this distance loss as it is and uh, I'm not changing any delay time and I'm not going to change the random seed so I'm going to create it so you get a network window, simulation window, mode output window and then timeline window so here you just click you now we need to add the modes so to add the modes go to modes add modes create new mode and you just select this sky mode which is widely used mode there you just browse it uh, go to the hello world uh, folder examples you just go to an examples in examples most of the frequently used reports will be available you can go and select the hello world uh, dot c you just select it open it then 3c clean first then compile it so while compiling compiling you will get some warning you can ignore this warning so if the warning the compilation is about to end now so you will get a dot object file so we are going to get this dot object file now you have to create click so in here I am going to first uh, going to have one server node so keep one and add nodes so I will get a mode here now I am going to change its properties like I want to see the IP address I want to see the LED I want to see the radio traffic grid mode type so everything I would like to see it so I am activating all the thing radio environment radio environment so if you click in center you could see uh, so the green signal it's a connected signal connected uh, locations and this is your interference place okay so, so these are the uh, reachable location now with respect to your node 1 so now to add your new modes go to mode again just click start simulation so your output then minimize your bounce key and minimize your this one go to application Go to accessories, files, quantity, the quantity, examples are there. The examples you have, hello world, the hello world you have, hello world.c, open that. So you can change this as I hope you call sessions just save it and then close it I could see in order to see the output you have to make sure your log output print up here so see IOT protocol session is visualized now 
So like this you can change your content and you can display it. Next to start with uh, this low power 6 low pan and the power up again go to sky mode browse now instead of hello world we go to examples the examples you have ipv6 border router folder here we have to select border router.c so now open it clean it compile it So the compilation is over now. Any time, so I'll go with the random positioning. Then add notes. So one note is created. Now to add the remaining notes. Then go to sky mode. Browser. Now select an examples. So select your just example, just example, click OK. There you could see example server.c. Just click open, then clean and pipe. So, compilation will produce a magic pipe. Once the compilation is over, we need to click create. So, clean, compile, and create. So, the object file is about to produce now. The object file is done. We will create a nodes. So here we are planning to create six nodes as a client node. So six nodes and then we keep random positioning. Then add nodes. So now what server node positioning the um, positioning this uh, client nodes. Okay. So now you can drag it and you just can keep it. So now you can see uh, three mode number three, five, and six are nearer to one, uh, whereas uh, two is uh, in the interference range, and uh, six is vis two is visible to six like this. So you can uh, this is a random location. Even you can drag it and keep it nearer to this also. Okay. Like this, you can change it. So now go to uh, just right click your server mode, then go to serial socket server. So you will get a serial socket window, then you just uh, click your start option. So you can see the start, so the lines transmission of data happens here. So if you want to visualize it, you can see, see these are the data which happens for this router. Like this, you can see the transmission of data happens. So now if we double click it, you could see the output mode, uh, it is displayed in the output mode as well. And this is the timeline. So if you want to save the time, time, you can save it, you can go and file it and you can save to the file or you can print it to the console as well. So these are the various options available. Now we will go and see the application of Kovab and Lopan. So go to terminal, file, open terminal. So type cd w dot slash slash examples slash ipv6 slash rpl border router slash router then give enter then make connect hyphen router hyphen user then give enter so type the password as user then give enter so your edge router now translates your data from the serial port to the internet. So this is the connection established here. Uh, you can see 
the service or IP address running as 127.0.1. Minimize it from your application. You start now. So now the data flow is happens here. Can go to and check your IP service address will be now IP6. So to copy this address, right click it and copy it. Then open to remote terminal. Now ping it. Ping six space. So copy paste that address. Now you could see the pinging is happening properly. So once this is done, we minimize it and come back to the computer um, simulator. Now you could see data packets has been sent across all the server nodes and the client nodes. So go to tools and then you have a radio message. Click on analyzer and select your co-op um, analyzer cap with cap. Now it starts populating your analyzer now. So you can see the type of your uh, data here inside to click on it. Since an 8 mod will point to point your data format it sends it and this is the encryption data available and all the payload type 64 bytes IPv6 format is all available here. Then you can close this. You can go to that Mozilla from your terminal. You can go to Mozilla. This Mozilla you just type Co-op in the bracket. So now first let us check with this IPv6 low band. So these are the routers which are all nearer to. So for one it is nearer to. Two is quite nearer. So the neighboring will be two here. And from two it routes to all the components. So it two from three it goes to three, seven, five, four, six, two or three. So these are the various routes it takes. And the two inputs to be nearer to the server node one. So that's all about this uh, neighboring configuration. Now so we can uh, go to this co-op simulation. You have to click this button so you launch it. Just give OK. If you want to add it, you just go to add-ons. Then we can add uh, add-ons. So now you go and type co-op in the terminal. So you can copy this address of 7th node now. You are going to see this configuration of the 7th node. You just click co-op as like your HTTP co-op colon double slash. You just paste that address in the square bracket. How to paste this address? Then click enter. So you could see you can have your uh, discover option. You click the discover option. So it will all show the activator, toggle, sensor, test, everything it will be displayed. <coughs> so now you can click your light. So you can check that these are the components associated with this whole node. So I'm just selecting node number seven. see the incoming and outgoing nodes as well. So I'm just going to click the light and click the out outgoing tab. Sorry, incoming tab. Mm -hmm. Light and incoming tab. Just click get method. So details of that will be displayed here. For this data, we have received it from this simulation of this six low pack. So the LEDs can be shown here now or because the LED is going to be visualized for that we need to put this water then go to outgoing we click zero once you type 0 and you just uh, put a, click the post method, 
so that our data gets transmitted over there then it will be displayed here thank you so much